YouTube is good with y'all man, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a huge misconception in the producer community which is that you need a lot of expensive fancy plugins to make good beats. That you can't make good beats without using those plugins, for example Omnisphere, Nexus, Keyskip, all that. And let's say you decide to purchase all those plugins, you're going to end up spending a bag bro, like you're going to end up spending thousands of dollars. And don't get me wrong, shit like Omnisphere and Keyscape. Keyscape, for example, is the best piano plugin that I've ever used. Like, it's way better compared to FL Keys. But do you need it? Absolutely not, bro. And that's my goal for today's video, man, to show y'all that you don't need all those expensive, uh, fancy plugins to be able to make good melodies, good samples, and great beats, man. So let's get back to where we all started, man. Let's get it. All right, so as you can see, FL Studio opened up right here. Uh, and I know I've already done a couple stock VST videos on the channel. I believe the last one I uploaded was uploaded like half a year ago. So I figured it would never be a bad idea to uh, kind of update your videos a little bit. So, uh, we back so let's just get right into making the sample we'll start up by setting the bpm to uh 158 and let's see what vsc we're gonna start out with i was thinking of using this new kepler exo just updated to the new fl 2024 i believe it's called i haven't really checked this out yet got some presets in it so i'm gonna just browse through the presets um until i find something usable oh, that's cool right, so let's open up the piano roll and set the scale to uh let's go for f sharp minor i'm to lay down a root note and uh see where it goes man i know it's repetitive gonna change it up a little bit but that's hard bro it's a mad simple let's also introduce some lower frequencies in it by adding some lower notes some sort of top melody Mmm, fuck with that. Yeah. <laughs> kind of makes it a little bit a little bit more unique. Kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. So let's copy that over. Uh, let's just keep it like this. All right, next I'm going to send it to a mixer track. And I'm going to start out by uh, cutting out some of the harsh frequencies. Frequencies I don't want to keep. Very harsh right here. So I'm going to lower it a little bit. Add some more uh, high frequencies to it. Some more low mids. Kind of even it out a little bit. Next, I'm going to see if I can add some more bounce to it. So I'm going to open up uh, Gross Beat. <laughs> That's where my rhythm to it, fam. Yo, I don't own Gross Beat, as you can see. I got the trial version. So a uh, little trick you can do is render that out like that uh, to uh, to keep this effect. I'm set it to a new mixer track once again. I um, think all we got to add to this is some reverb. Uh, I'm gonna use for Hall of Vintage Verb, but you can also use uh, Fruity Reverb, for example. Something like that. That's a lot of a lot of depth to it, a lot of space. Got to widens it out a little bit. I think that's pretty much it, man. Next, I kind of want to layer this sound with another sound, so I'm gonna just copy over this pattern and I'm gonna open up Flex for the uh, second VC, and I'm just paste that in there. Uh, next, I'm gonna look for a preset that uh, kind of matches and complements the first preset that I started out with. Hold on now, bro. Took out the root notes. Got this, uh, let's see where it says. Schiffer Elite preset. Now let's also render that out into an audio clip. Like that. So I'll send that to a mix track and add some effects to that. Start out with some halftime. And I'm gonna cut a lot of the lows out. Add some more bounce to it. Yeah. That's tough, that's tough. I'm gonna add some compressor to it. I believe FL Studio also got its own uh, stock compressor. Like that. Next I'm gonna add some distortion to it. Uh, it's fast distortion. Also add some delay to it. Like that. Also add some reverb to it to end it out. Perfect. For the next layer, I want to add some more uh, lower frequencies to it to uh, add some more emotion to it. Uh, I believe back when I used to use Flex when I first started out, this shit got some uh, pianos in it. I believe it was this one right here. Uh, yeah, quite some presets in it. I don't know which one. Which one sounds good? Uh, let's start out with a stage grind. Yeah, <laughs> that should work. Let's uh, switch up the root notes a little bit. Let's just copy that over. Let's also process the uh, piano a little bit. Bring us some more of the presence. 
makes a big difference. It's just sound good. Yeah. Yeah. Pat it to the left a little bit. It's kind of separated from the uh, the rest. Only needs some reverb. Once again, you can use any reverb. So I like about how that piano sounds. I think I am going to clone it and uh, once again copy over this top melody. Pick that up. Mm. So that's a mixture. Try pan it to the right. Also add EQ to that. Like that. Some delay to it. Also compress it just a little bit. Not necessary. Uh, also blend it together. The other piano. Yeah, that works. Bro. All right, next I kind of want to lay down some sort of counter melody, some sort of uh, lead. I think would sound good. Let's open up uh, GMS for that. Just a process. Let's copy that over like that. Let's also render it out into audio clip. Put a shelf like that. Kind of to the left a little bit. Yeah. Let's chop it up on every bar like that. And let's kind of fade this out at the end like this. It's a lot more, has a lot more bounce to it, you feel me? Also has some reverb to that. That's too much. Just a simple preset, bro. It doesn't have to be nothing crazy. Yeah. Right, so let's add one more, one more sound to it, one more preset. Um, Let's just find something. Let's go for old gun. I don't know what the fuck this is. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know, bro. Some sort of riser, I guess. All right, so now that the uh, sample is finished, I'm gonna create a new pattern like that. Uh, and like always, of course, every single drum sound that I'm gonna be using in today's video and in all of my videos, all of my tutorials, uh, came from my Heavisynth and Brookstation Drum Kit, man, both out right now. First link down in the description. If you don't own any fancy, expensive plugins yourself, some high quality drum sounds, some high quality drum kits are a great way to kind of compensate that. And also most importantly, for a fraction of the price of a high quality VST. Uh, both of these kits got everything in the need from 808s to uh, some effects, bonus loops, claps, snares, open hats. So if you like the drums that I'm gonna be using in today's video, make sure to go check it out after watching the video, man. First link down in the description, let's get it. So like always, I'm gonna start out with a higher and a snare pattern to really set that bounce. Uh, let's go right into it. It's a two-step. Really set that bounce, set that tempo. I use this snare in uh, in a minute. Yeah. It's hard. Whew. Next, kind of complement the higher and snare uh, pattern. I'm gonna lay down a open hat to kind of uh, swing between the higher and the snares. If that makes sense. Right in front of the snare, you feel me? Like really, really enhances the bounce of the drums. Something like that. Yeah. Let's cut these piano notes out. Yeah, that sounds way better, bro. Get some percussion in the mix. Right there. That's siren hard, bro. Lay it down at the end right here. Easy with Admiral Bounce to it. Next time I have some rolls to the highest. Mm. 
Yes, sir. Alright, then for the 808, I'm thinking of using two uh, 808s. Alright, so I'm going to just start out with the regular spins on the root note like that. Something like that. Yeah. Next, I'm going to use the uh, second 808 to complete this pattern. Now lastly, I'm gonna add a counter snare to it, and I think that's pretty much it for the for the drums. Yeah. Alright, so like I said, I think that's pretty much it for the drums. Really like the way how this uh, beat turned out. Uh, so yeah, that's what we ended up with. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. So I really hope that this video really proves to y'all that you don't need uh, all the fancy plugins to be able to make good beats. Of course, they can help, but you don't really need them if you're on a budget, for example. So I really want to thank y'all for watching the video all the way to the end. Really hope that y'all learned something from today's video. Uh, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel or like the video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Check out my drum kits. Join my Discord community. It's all linked down in the description down below. That's all I got for today's video, man. So catch y'all on the next one. I'm out.